I love abandoned places. I've always loved abandoned places. And I feel that each one has a story to tell and deserves to have their story told. But I realize that a lot of them don't necessarily have the information out there to find. So I've decided to start a series called Painted in Rust. And it's a series that I want to use to explore and document abandoned and forgotten places at least ones that are local to me for now. I would love to expand and go everywhere uh, and see what's out there. But for now, there are plenty of places to discover here in North Carolina. Painted in Rust is going to be there just as a highlight uh, reel basically for these places. I'm gonna take some cool photos of them, document uh, their current state, and maybe look into the history if I can find it about how about what this, what these places are and how they got to be the way they are. Anyways, um, before I ramble too much, I just want to throw this out there. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the 1900 Samford cotton mill and a factory slash industrial complex that I don't know too much about, but seems pretty cool. And a lot of them just sit in the middle of everything, completely forgotten. So let's see. Uh, Let's see where it goes. Cue the map. This is the city of Sanford, North Carolina. It's not a terribly large city, only about 30,000 people live there. And it's known as the Brick City, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of its industrial buildings are built from brick, old brick. And a lot of its industry revolved around brick uh, making in the late 1800s, early 1900s. In fact, you might even have bricks that were made in Sanford in your city which is pretty cool. The small city really became a boom town with its placement of rail lines. Being able to export brick, cotton, and steel were huge economic advantages that made an industrialized shift and brought with it a lot of opportunity. But industry changes, and while modern day Sanford does have a historical district, it's hard to say what their plans are. A lot of the buildings have fallen into disrepair and some of them could probably even be considered ruins. Kind of like the Sanford cotton mill that was built in 1900s, which we're gonna dive into here in a sec. Here's the cotton mill. The air actually points to the tower, which is the last remaining part of it, that and a smokestack. The images range from 1938 to 2021.
All right, so there is the Sanford cotton mill that was built in 1900. Uh, I don't know why it's in the state that it's in. I've read maybe there was a fire at some point uh, that they might have had to demolish the whole thing and for some reason left the tower, uh, which is just kind of standing precariously. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it too much, but uh, it's really neat to look at. If, if nothing else. Next up, we're gonna be uh, looking at an old factory or warehouse of some sort. I, I don't know the story on this. Um, there wasn't a lot of information online and I couldn't even find the deeds. Uh, those, those were all dead ends. So the footage is pretty restrictive. There were some police in the parking lot and I just had to be kind of careful with where I was going and whatnot. And also there's actually construction going on on the other side of the building. So uh, it's getting renovated and it, half of it's kind of torn down and gutted and everything like that. So it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, I think it was built in around the 1960s, 1950s, 1960s, and it looks like it was abandoned, uh, abandoned in the 90s. So here it is. Uh, I wish I would have gotten a chance to go inside, but access was pretty limited. And um, I think you get the general idea of what it looks like on the outside is probably pretty representative of what the inside looks like too. All right, that's all I have for that one. I think the biggest difference is the difference in cars between the 1972 photo and the 2021 photo. I think that speaks volumes for that building story. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I enjoy creating videos like this and your feedback really matters. Uh, subscribe for more content like this. I have a lot of ideas that I can't wait to get to. I can't wait to make more. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.